Approximately 2 million people in the U.S. have celiac disease. It is very important for this disease to be diagnosed so that all sources of gluten can be eliminated and the intestinal tract can heal. Registered dietitian Rita Smith joins us with guidance for a nourishing gluten-free diet for those with celiac disease. Hi, this is Rita Smith, registered dietitian at Centera Martha Jefferson Hospital. Celiac disease is a chronic hereditary autoimmune condition. The body cannot digest the protein gluten, which is found in wheat, barley, and rye. If it's eaten, there's damage to the small intestines and the lining becomes inflamed. If it goes undiagnosed, there is malabsorption of nutrients and malnutrition. Let's talk more about celiac disease. The common symptoms, if not diagnosed, include diarrhea, chronic fatigue, bone and joint pain, dermatitis or skin rash on the elbows, knees, back and scalp. There are long-term complications if there's no diagnosis of celiac disease, including early, early osteopenia and osteoporosis, anemia, malnutrition, infertility, or frequent miscarriages. The primary sources of gluten are all forms of wheat, including semolina, durum, spelt, farina, and farro, barley, and rye. With a diagnosis of celiac disease, you need a gluten-free diet for a lifetime to eliminate symptoms, repair the intestines, and return to good health and energy. So you have to be a label reader, look for all the ingredients to make sure there's no gluten, Bread, cereals, baking mixes, and crackers are obvious sources of gluten, but you'll find it lurking in canned soups and dressings. You want to eat nourishing food to heal the intestinal tract. So there are lots of gluten-free foods that are healthy, like fruits and vegetables, starchy vegetables like potatoes and corn, legumes, nuts, meat, poultry, fish, dairy, and fruits and fats and oils. Gluten-free millet, nut flours, quinoa, and soy are also available. You might need to make some adjustments to menus, so make sure your oatmeal in the morning is gluten-free. Make it with milk and nuts to up the protein content. Switch over to corn tortillas for your lunchtime sandwich and include gluten-free starches at dinner like gluten-free pastas, legumes, quinoa, and rice. There's great information on celiac disease at the website of celiac.org or at centera.com slash healthwellness. Send your nutrition questions to me at the station, nbc29.com. Click on the health link. Until next time, it's Rita Smith reminding you that moderation, a variety of foods, and having mealtime with your children are key to eating well.